Leave that thing alone, man. You're better than that. Right. That's a reason why we are in captivity today. Right. We are better than this. All right? To me, we're going to show you that. Nah, bro, right quick, right quick, man, right quick, man. Listen, y'all got to understand. Yo, we love y'all so much. This is why we do what we do. Y'all make us happy when we see that you're listening because our men are gods, but we don't know that. This truth must be pushed throughout the state of South Carolina by all means necessary. Our people are in desperate need of God's laws out here. We're the men that stand boldly to get the job done against all opposition that standeth in our way. And opposition will come. In fact, it's already here. Every day we put our lives on the line to save our people. And that's even in the midst of all the opposition that come our way. But this is our mission. It doesn't matter how we feel or what we think. We all have our own issues. But who's going to rise up when the Most High calls? It's time to gather the saints from Columbia to Spartanburg, Charleston to Myrtle Beach. We hit the streets for the lost sheep. So men of war, gather yourselves together. Let's get ready for battle. Strap your boots, no excuse, let's push this through. Whether it's two by two or the whole crew, get ready, we're coming through. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel, united in Christ, is a non-violent, Bible-based movement. IUIC. Yeah, hold on, hold on, brother, hold on. Hey, just right quick, right quick, all right? Deuteronomy chapter one, verse one. Because one thing we don't know is, what is your nationality? What do you call yourself? Think about it. What do you call yourself? Are you a so-called what? Like, if you're filling out an application, all right? What do you call yourself? Are you black, Hispanic, what is it? Black, African American. Okay, black African American, right? What about yourself? African-American, okay. Now, I want to show you your biblical nationality out, out of the Bible. Deuteronomy 1, verse 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Moses was speaking to Israel, one nation of people, all right? Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Just to show you uh, uh, um, just to show y'all a point, all right? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So, the Most High God chosen you to be a special people unto himself. Right. right? Above all people. Did you know that? Did you know that? See, our people don't know how special they are because we always say we don't have time. It always something, it always something else that we need to do. But we don't take the time to learn our biblical nationality because it's, hey, it's very important. Right. For you to know that you're above all people now, what you should be thinking is, okay, why am I not above all people now? What's going on with me now? This happened, Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it up. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, I want you to think about this. It's a curse, the fact that you're not leading the nations. Right. It's a curse that you're in slavery. That's right. Because the Bible says that what? You are above all people on the face of the planet. Do you understand? When the Most High said that, he knew what he was saying. Now, let's see how we curse. 16. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Now, tell me, how are we curse in the city? I want you to think about some things. How, how are we cursed in the city? Man, I might get a flight. Do we not get shot down by the police? Do we not live in the worst conditions? Right. Or our people is, we are out of order, right? We kill each other for fun. For stepping on your shoes, you put a brother to death. Bring it up. But the other nations can step on your shoes, can step on your damn neck, can slap you in the face, and you don't do anything. Bring right. it up. So now, is that not a curse? That's a curse, right? So it just showing us that 
why we are at the bottom of society because what? We break the Most High's commandments. How do we get back to that great state though? By keeping it. By doing things like not sagging our pants. Because the Bible actually says, hey, a man should not sag his pants, right? Right. Now, let's get that. Let's get that. Let me let me show my brother that in the scriptures just so he know, you know what? I should not be sagging my pants. I should pull my pants up because I'm better than all these other nations. And the only way to show them that you're better is to keep the Most High's commandments. All right? That's right. Now, all right, you ready? Second Samuel chapter 10 and verse 4. Read up. Wherefore Hanun took David's servants and shaved off the one half of their beards and cut off their garments even in the middle. I want y'all to think about this. If I cut off somebody's garment in the middle, what is showing? Their underwear. Right. So it was a shame for us to show our boxers. You should not be sagging. That's that right. thing is not good. And my brother, I'm going to tell you, that cigarette... It's going to kill you because you are defiling your temple. Right. You understand? If you read on the front of it about the one, it tells you that it causes cancer. Leave that thing alone, man. You're better than that. Right. That's a reason why we are in captivity today. Right. We are better than this. All right? To me, we're going to show you that. Second Corinthians. I mean, first Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Read it out. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. That you are the temple of God, my brother, and the spirit of God, it dwell in you. You should not be doing this. You're better than this. The Most High, she said that what? You are above all nations on the face of the planet, my brother. That's right. You're better than everybody else. You was made better. You bred better. Can't nobody take the kingdom away from you but yourself. Do you understand? You got an opportunity today to turn back from your wicked ways and keep the Most High's commandments. That's right. That's what we're telling you. Because if we didn't love you, we would not tell you this. Give me Leviticus 19, verse 17. Bring it up. Let me, hey, let me show you. Hey, but, <coughs> okay, why do you smoke? Let me ask you that. Scratch, depression, yeah. slavery. I already knew the answer, but I just got to hear it from you. Scratch, depression, slavery. Right. The fact that you got to wake up. And you work from sun up to sundown, right. probably to make ends meet. The fact that you probably got to be out here in these streets doing whatever um, God knows what to make um, to make ends meet, correct? Guess what? It's something better than that. That's the right. The Most High said that if you keep my commandments, I will show you how to move. Hey, this Bible here is for you. Right. All right? Read this right here, though. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Read it out. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. If I don't correct you, my brother, I hate you. Right. And that's the same thing for these brothers in the car. Even though they're looking at you like, Yo, hey, why he standing up there just listening to these guys? It's a spirit, bro. It's right. a spirit. I'm telling you, it's a spirit. So if, so if we don't correct you, we don't love you. There is no love in my heart for you if I don't say anything about the cigarette, about anything of your lifestyle. That's why we ask you these questions. Because guess what? We went through the same thing. That's I right. was, hey, I was, um, I was one standing on that side. And brothers was ripping me apart like, yo, damn, hey, I didn't know that all this stuff right here was in the Bible. So the fact that you smoke, stop. The fact that you're going through what you're going through, give me um, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10. Bring it out. Let me actually let you see. Now, it's a certain actually work because I want you to know this. When we sell drugs to our people, what do that do to them? Think about it. If I give somebody some drugs, what is it doing to their mind? It's corrupting their mind, right? Because all they actually want is that drug. And that drug ain't really helping them. It just gives you a high for about a couple minutes. And the next thing you know, you right back to reality. Right. Damn, I'm a slave here. Dang, I got, hey, bills due. All that stuff, right? But listen, but listen to this. Read. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 10. Hey, my people, come, man, come. Hey, what we trying to do is wake our people up. We want y'all to change, all right? Read. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that, that if any would not work. Let me show you something right quick. And let me show you something right quick. Nah, bro, right quick, right quick, man, right quick, man. Listen, y'all got to understand. Yo, we love y'all so much. This is why we do what we do. Y'all make us happy when we see that you're listening because our men are gods, but we don't know that. We don't know that. We got to come back to, hey, we got to come back to our godship. This is how we do it. Read that again. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if 
any would not work. Neither should he eat. Neither should he eat. So what are we telling y'all to do? Hey, I want to see if y'all caught it. Come on, man. Hey, come under the... Listen, listen, listen. We're not going to harm you in no way, shape, or form. All right? Yeah. We like the sun, though. Now, what you, what you at? What was your question? This script, I want you to listen to it, right? And I want you to give me that. Uh uh, no, 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 stay right there, stay right there. Okay, hey, I want y'all to, um, I'm just asking y'all um, a question and I want y'all to give me an answer, all right? Now, if a man don't work, he don't eat. L listen to it, read. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. If all our brothers out here hustling, we don't want jobs, uh, we ain't working, because some brothers just stay in the house and play video games all day. If we're not working, how can we be effective in our communities? Well, shit, you're not. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but you're right. right. But you're right. This is what the Bible tells you to do to better your community. Because guess what? When you work and when you actually put money away for whatever may happen, uh, let's say that you got a bill due or something actually pop up and you actually been putting money away. Now you got money to pay for that thing, right? But if you ain't working, how are you going to pay for it? Now, now, what you have to do to get that money? Think about it. If you're not working, and if a bill pop up that is unexpected, what you have to do now to get that money for that bill? Slave. There you go, you're slain. Now, as you slain, Slave, right? So whatever you do, whether it's um, let me ask you this right here, because many of our people we smoke, uh, we we do all that stuff, right? We smoke cigarettes. Is that really doing something for us? Not really. Not really. And let's say that we smoke weed, we just get you high for a period of time, right? And then the high go away. What happens when the high go away? Your problem just become deeper. Bills were sitting there. Just the right. problem was sitting there the whole time. Right. It don't go anywhere. Don't go so what are we, So what are we doing? Wasting time. Cause time moving faster. You right. You right. See, and this is why I like coming out talking actually to my brothers because I know that we do these things because we all used to be. We all used to do this at one point, right? We all used to do it. All right. But the fact of the matter is, is when we know better. What the Bible says And drugs I'm going to tell you what drugs do If you uh, Let's say you give somebody Some cocaine Right Addiction Addiction You're right You're right You're right You're right Because It's certain things in drugs That get people addicted to it That now They spend all their money On that thing So that's why you don't it, Right The love of money that's another a drug because many of our people, hey, we love, hey, we love money, but it's, but yeah, it's a thing, right? And that do anything for the money is a scary thing because sins come out of that. How you doing, my brother? Hey, but let me ask y'all this though. Um, let me ask you this: What is your biblical nationality? Have your pastor told you that before? What is your biblical nationality? Yeah, I'm on the shade. Come on, come on, man. Hey, I'm standing on the shade. Let me show y'all some of these depictions. My nationality. Yes, sir. Your nationality. You know how um, you know how you are called so-called black. Uh, when you when you, when we fill out a job application, they got black, Hispanic, uh, Native American, whatever. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Sir, let me ask you a question. What do you call yourself? What do you call yourself? What is your nationality? African American. African American. Okay. So African American. Africa was conquered, right? By Leo Scipio Africanus, a white guy. America was conquered by Amerigo Vespucci, which is another white guy. Are uh, we, can two white men make a black man? So why we call ourselves African American? Um, that, that just come from our heresy. Mm, that, hey, that was a term that was put upon us, right? Right. You're older than the term African American. I'm older than the term African American. It came out in 1985. Bring it up. You, you see what I'm saying? So, what? So, our biblical nationality is an Israelite. That's I'm gonna right. show you that. But hey, but I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you just how this Bible speaks about our history. All right, it speaks about our history. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live 
on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse, well, Deuteronomy 28, 15. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Read up. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So all these curses will come upon us and overtake us if we did not listen to the Most High God. What was what was one of the curses? Let's get um, verse 68. I'm going to show y'all slave ships in the Bible, how we came over here. I'm going to show you that in this book. It's in this book. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. How did we came over here? Judah? That's the um, that's the so-called American blacks today. You say, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, no, 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 no. Hey, you just made a point. You said what? That's who betrayed us. You got, you got everybody. You got one person in your family is a Judah. You ain't got to hit no, a chicken no, no. ball. No, you nah, he's talking about Judas. Right, right. He's talking about Judas. Yeah. Listen, listen, listen. No, it's Judah. No, no. It's a nation of, <laughs> it's a nation of people. So our people, um, when, um, when he come out the store, we're going to deal with it. We're going to deal with it. Right. But what our people have to realize is what? Our history is in the Bible. That's it's right. It's in here. All right? Now, read that again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Read it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. How did we get over here? With Ships. With ships. We have to understand that. Your pastors have not taught this. All right? Now, Egypt. Egypt is synonymous for what? What is Egypt synonymous for? Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Read out. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. And, and, and another word for bondage is slavery. All That's right? right? Now, read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Uh -huh. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. The same way that Moses said it was going to happen, it happened to us. Right. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. We shall see what no more again? Exodus chapter 14 verse 12. Bring it out. Exodus chapter 14 verse 12. Yeah, uh, yes. Hey, we're going to read, read down. Word that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians, for it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than we should die in the wilderness. Uh -huh. The wickedness of our people, read. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more. We will not go back to slavery in Egypt again. That's we will right. see it no more again. Right. That's what that verse is talking about. Go back. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. My, hey, um, <coughs> what's my brother right there name? Did you ask him his name? Fred. Hey, Fred. Hey, Fred. How did we get over here, man? How did our ancestors get over here? Okay, man, uh, <laughs> By boat? Did you, did you just heard that in the Bible? You already knew it. So that means that you know your nationality then. What's your nationality? You an Israelite? Israel, from what tribe? Huh? He said he a negro, man. He's black. He said he, he said he a negro, he black. Hey, hey Fred, hey Fred, hey Fred, come over here, man. Let me talk to you right quick, man. Let me make sure that you know your uh, let me make sure you know your tribe. Let me make sure you know your tribe. Come over here, Fred, right quick. 
Hey, tell Fred to come over here right quick. Hey, um, and my brother right there that said that she Judas. And my brother, when you get through, come back over here, man. I can't deal with you from that far away. But what we show our people is that slave ships is in the Bible, all right? Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with ships. Uh -huh. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. And there where? Wherever you was taken, you will be sold to, to your enemies. Right. Tell what those auction blocks goes into. Right. And it's still happening today. The NBA is just a, a nicer way of doing it. This is how fast this guy is. Hey, so so how much is he worth? Oh, uh, let's say 10 million, 20 million, 30. But notice now, when these people go through things, he cannot talk about it. He gotta shut up. That's how you know that you're in slavery. That's how you know you're slaves. Right. right. And there he shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. For bond men and bond women. And what? And no man shall buy you. And no man is going to save you. Martin Luther King tried. He couldn't do it. Right. Marcus Garvey tried. He couldn't do it. Right. So our people have to understand that the Bible is for you. That's this right. is what we've proven right now. Your, hey, your history is in this book, That's whether you believe it or not. Right. All right? Now, go back to uh, Deuteronomy um, 28, verse 68. I mean, verse 48. Because it says something very, very profound. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Read it out. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. Notice, the Bible says, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. They are not your friends. These nations that put you in slavery are not your friends. All right? Right. Never trust thine enemy. Right. Wait. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. Who sent them against you? The Lord shall send against thee. Who sent them against you? The Lord shall send against thee. For your transgressions, we went into what? Slavery. This is why you live in the way that you're living. Right. Wait. In hunger and in thirst. And hunger and in thirst, if you want anything to eat, you gotta go to that the nation. You want anything to drink, you gotta go to them. Right. <coughs> and in nakedness. And in nakedness. You want clothes, you want fabric, you gotta go to them. Right. And in what of all things? If you want anything, you have to go to them. Right. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So, I got a question. Who did that happen to, my brother? Who did the yoke of iron happen to? The, the, the yoke of iron was on the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and, they, and Native Americans' neck. See, it was on their neck. Right. All right? Until what? Until he have destroyed thee. And when he knew that you were destroyed, he took them off. Because he know that now what? I got your mind. Have you ever heard the term, kill the Indian, but keep the man? Right. I don't want to, hey, I don't want to wipe you off the face of the earth. No. Because now I cannot use you like built beasts. I can't use you. I got to make sure to destroy your mind. Good economics. Very good economics. Read. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Now, 43. Verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. I thought the Most High said that the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans was above all people. Let's read that again. No, um, Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. You hear that? You so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are, are a special people. That's You're right. better than everybody else. Right. Read. Unto himself. Unto himself. Come on. Above all people. Hey, my brother. Hey, my brother right there, just hold up the flyer. My, okay, read. Above all people. Did you hear the Bible? The Bible says that the that the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are above all people. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community.
nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time. Oh!